Good morning, Earth County. I'm Mason Cash. And I'm Matt Gooch. Last week was homecoming week, so let's see what all happened. Uh, for volleyball, we had uh, one match against Greenville and Temple on Tuesday, and we came out of both of those with the dub. On Tuesday, the softball team won against Temple 6-3. Wednesday, uh, we took an unfortunate loss to Bremen. Uh, four to one, and we also lost to Carrollton Thursday, which was 0 and 2. But we're doing good this season, so we'll be fine. Also, Thursday we had a, a JV game in Bowden. Came out with another victory there. I think the JV team's 4 and 0 or 5 and 0. They're undefeated either way. Uh, for the varsity team, got their first win. Uh, good job, varsity. So yeah, um, just great to see progress in the. Uh, Varsity team, getting better, mm -hmm. bringing home a W on homecoming. Also, you know the dance was Saturday. Shout out to uh, Miss Adams for planning that and throwing it and stuff. So, it's a lot of fun. Now we go to uh, something. What's going on here, County? I'm Nathan Allen, and I'm here with Maddie Denny, the winner of Bonker Ball on Monday from our homecoming games. Now, Maddie, uh, what preparations did you take to help win your third Bonker Ball game in a row? Um, it's really the element of surprise because I didn't know we were playing Monday, and um, I just I just go out there fighting. <laughs> Yeah, just goes out there and does her thing, and she does it pretty well. Three years in a row, she's won for the girls. Now, Maddie, how do you think the juniors did overall last week in homecoming? Um, honestly, all the juniors were surprised we lost, but I really wasn't. <laughs> we, our class is not the best with competition, and so us losing was not that big of a surprise to me. But next year, I think we have a good chance. Yeah, I mean, we always do pretty decent on the hallways and stuff, but we're a smaller class. We don't have as many people dress up as the other grades, so it does put us behind. That's our interview with Maddie Denny. Now we're going on to Sammy with Dodgeball. What's going on here, County? I'm Nathan Allen, and I'm here with Sammy Calhoun, one of the seniors on the Dodgeball team that won on Tuesday. Sammy, how do you feel y'all did during Dodgeball? Uh, I was pretty pleased with the outcome. Uh, obviously nobody likes to lose the faculty, but them starting at the top of the bracket was pretty stupid. Yeah, pretty biased, pretty unfair, you know. Another unfair uh, job of the seniors this year versus the juniors, but we won't go into that. Now, Sammy, how do y'all feel y'all did overall during homecoming this year? Uh, I think the seniors went, it went over real good. Uh, the win in the hallways was a shock, but you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, but overall, good year for the seniors. Yeah, if you take your wins, you can get them. Now, that's our interview with Sammy Calhoun. Go Braves. What's going on, Hurt County? I'm Nathan Allen, and I'm here with Braden Barlow, the winner of Balloon Stomp on Wednesday of last week. Now, Braden, did you enjoy the game? I really enjoyed the game, just competing with the other grades. It was always fun to see. Now, Braden, what was your strategy coming into the game? I'd say my strategy was just playing passive and just waiting my turn. Yeah, Ben, you know, he did it and he got the win for the juniors. Now, Braden, we had a bunch of games last week. How do you think the juniors did overall? I feel like the juniors competed well, and I feel like we played pretty high. If that's always great to see, good for my juniors to come out somewhere up in the top. That's my interview with Braden Barlow. Go Braves. What's going on here, County? I'm Nathan Allen, and I'm here with DJ Cook, one of the sophomores during our tug of war this week on Friday. Now, DJ, how do y'all feel y'all did during tug of war? I feel like we did good. It was, it was a battle, especially against the juniors. The faculty, they cheated. Yeah. Yeah, a little, you know, faculty always loves to play unfair. You know, we're not saying nothing, but we are. Uh, <laughs> DJ, how do you feel we did over, or the sophomores did overall this week? During homecoming, um, I thought we did overall good, fairly decent, but like we could have stepped it up and did better, cause yeah, we rule. Well, that's a lot of talk right there from DJ Cook. Now, 
That's your interviews for the week, Kirk County. Go Braves. Thank you, Nathan, for those sports interviews. Now we move on to... <laughs> Which now we move on to Sydney Royal. Are you dancing? We're going to Sydney Royal okay, restart that way. It's still up. Good morning, Hurt County. It's Jacob Mills here back at it with your local weather. Monday, we have a high of 68 with a low of 44, and it's going to be cloudy that day. Tuesday, we have a high of 78 with a low of 44 again, and it's going to be partly cloudy. Wednesday, we have a high of 88 with a low of 56, and it should be sunny that day. Thursday, we have a high of 78 with a low of 66, and it's gonna be probably cloudy again. And then last but not least, Friday, can't forget Friday, we have a high of 80 with a low of 69, and it's gonna be partly cloudy again. That's all, go Braves. Goodbye, Hurt County. All right, Jacob Mims, come here. Why are you looking at yourself, that was my mistake. I want to personally thank Jacob Mims for giving us leather for how many years, Jacob? Two. This is my second. That's a lot. For two years, this man, you've been relying on this man to be right, and he's probably been wrong. Every time. Um, I wanted to personally congratulate and thank Jacob Mims for the leather, and... Thank you. For so much you do It's an honor. Party. It it's is an honor. honor to shake this man's hand. He's a legend. I suck at doing the leather. No, he does. Okay. He's the one that okayed Steve Irwin for going out on all his expeditions. Um, what's that, Glenn Burns? Glenn Burns can... Thank you for the weather, Jacob. That was awesome. I love watching your segment. Now it's on to interviews with Sydney and Molly. I'm here with... Gray Hester. What hall do you think is going to win? Um, the juniors. Who do you think is the best dressed? Probably Logan Cameron. Let's go find him. I'm here with... Logan Cameron. Are you going to homecoming? Yes. Who are you going with? My girlfriend, Aubrey. Um, who do you think is the best dressed? Me. I mean, look at the fit. Look. I got the money suspenders, the cane, the eyebrows, the hair, mustache, everything. I'm, I'm dripped out. Well, let's go find someone else. With Carter. Are you nervous that today is the judging day of the hallways? Uh, not really. I, didn't, I haven't worked on the hallways that much. but. Yeah. Which one looks the best? Uh, well, they all look pretty good, but uh, I'm a, I have to say the seniors because I'm a senior, so. Who do you think is the best dressed? Me, obviously, but uh, besides me, I have to say uh, Brett Pritchard. Let's go find him. I'm here with Dylan and Brett. Are y'all nervous that today is the judging day for the hallways? Shoot, no. Not really. Um, which hallway looks the best? Not ours. Yeah, definitely not ours. Probably like either the freshmen or seniors. Agreed. Um, who do y'all think is the best dressed? Big Brett P. Dylan. Okay, let's go find someone else. I'm here with DJ Cowat. Are you nervous that today is hall judging day? Um, I think there are some parts of different hallways that could be concerning for the contest. So I guess so, yeah. Which hallway looks the best? Um, well, I'm a sophomore, so I'm going to say sophomore hallway looks the best. I haven't been down there to see if it's finished this morning yet, so I'm not really confident in that answer. Um, I think all the hallways did a pretty decent job, though. So. Um, who do you think looks the best? Um, I think all the basic girls came together and soccer moms are carrying today, personally. So that's what I would say if I had to pick a group of people. I don't know who I'd pick for, like, individually who looks the best. Well, that was maybe a DJ. Go Braves. With Savannah Frederick. Emma Perry. What hallway do y'all think looks the best? I think juniors had a lot of, like, good stuff, but I think we had more interactive stuff, so sophomores on top. Sophomores for sure. We're, we were more creative. Um, what float do you think is going to win? I think skill slope because... I think the wrestlers were pretty good. Um, which uh, grade do you think is going to win tug of war? Um, I think mm, sophomores. Sophomores or seniors. Well, that was my interview. Go Braves. Hi, I'm here with Sam Hubbard. 
And uh, Sam, I just have a few questions for you. So first of all, I heard we're cooking burgers for the football team this Friday for homecoming. Uh, how's that going? It's going fantastic. Nice. So do you think they're going to be good? They're going to be the best hamburgers anyone has ever eaten. That's awesome. I heard you're making some, some with some extra love for Brody Ogles. Look, Brody's Ogles hamburger is going to have so much love in it. He's, he might die from how much love's in it. Okay, that's awesome. So, uh, Sam, I also heard you're uh, going for Homecoming King. So, how's that going? What do you think? It's you know, it's going to be close. We'll just have to see tonight. Who do you think is, is your uh, biggest competition? I don't know. We'll just see. We'll see. We'll yeah. see. All right. That's all I got. Uh, go brave. So, Sam, uh, so if you're Homecoming King and your sister's Homecoming Queen, how's that going to go? As always, it's, it's Matt Gooch and Mason Cash and, and a few other and people. And Big B. Big B. Bros. And River Water. And River. And come on, Ruler. Oh. He's on the show. And Ben Smith and Riley Boone. James is hiding. Yeah, what's up? Boone, quit moving the camera. Oh, That's the only word. You can't move. Ben, you can get in here. You can just walk around. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was the war cry. This week's special shout out is uh, <laughs> oh, who did we say we were going to shout out, Riley? We talked about it earlier. Dr. Williams. Yeah. Dr. Williams. Thank you, Dr. Williams. Shout out to Dr. Williams. Thank you for your service. Have, have a good, good, good week, Kirk.